new to my channel. I'm Lori. Welcome to the Chatty Bookworm. Um, I got, um, Hello Lovely was doing like a, um, a, a Black Friday type of the deal type of thing. Um, and it's a mystery box. So I got that. I got a book from Barnes and Noble and a whole bunch of books that I've got yesterday. I mean, four books that I got yesterday and a whole bunch of books I got throughout the month. Some of these you might have seen in like book haul, I mean, book, book the vlogs, but some of them you haven't. So, yeah. So let's get started. We're going to start with this. Ooh, I like it already. A lot better than the last box. Ooh, this is pretty. It says, dream serious about books. Is it going to fit me? Yeah, that's extra large. Cool. That's cool. Look at that. That is cute. Last box, they didn't give me crap. <laughs> oh, no, I'm joking. Also, I did buy something else that's in here. This one, not this one, but the third one. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I bought separately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's in here? Looks like a mask. A mask? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a mask. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, it is. Ooh, it says, stay safe, let's read. Smells good. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. Cute. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, a cozy. It says romance melts my heart. Oh, that's so cute. Burn. Excuse me. Excuse this is the one I bought separately. They just put it in the box. Because I wanted this one. To put my you guys know me with my my um tabs and my markers and all that so yeah this says break rules read books stay wild and then is yeah. that supposed to be a um you know uh, um what is purse. it called that's supposed to be like a little purse i don't know really i forgot the yeah. name of it it's like goes around your waist uh -huh. it's a nice size I didn't know how big it was going to be. This is nice. This I could just like take with me when I don't want to take like a heavy, my my big, my long purse. So maybe I'll use it for that instead of what I bought it for. But yeah. Ooh, Ooh it says, I prefer my books with tight pants, balls, and players. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Proud. And then on the back it says, on the other side, it says, Proud Sports Romance Reader. <laughs> I do like some romance. I mean, sports in my romance sometimes. I have to be in the mood, though. Ooh, some stickers. This is a good box. Ooh, what in the heck is this? Like a sleep mask? Oh. Ooh, I'll show you guys this in a minute. <laughs> like, ooh, I don't know if there's any books in it, but they don't care about if there's no books. I don't think there's any books, but that's okay. I got 58 books. There's a lot of other cute stuff in here. Pizza is my favorite love triangle. Oh. <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous babes read books. <laughs> and sorry, my weekend is booked. Can I show you the other ones good? Because I, I wasn't even paying attention like how I had them up. This is really cool. Oop. Whoops. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't see my address. Oh, well. I'm not going to cry about it. If you guys saw my address, then buy me a book. No, I'm joking. <laughs> playing you guys i'm not serious you don't have to buy me anything just because you saw my address hmm oh it's tea mango passion fruit caffeine free tea i'm gonna show you all the other stuff then we'll show you the one that we were like ooh, ooh about Ooh, says book babes is this are these tabs are these tabs you guys know me with my tabs. Ooh, if it's tabs, I'm excited. Oh, they are tabs. Cute. <laughs> this is a good box. What is this? A tea strainer? Looks like it. Put that there. Well, I guess if they gave you a tea, they should give you a tea strainer or something. Yep. I'm not going to take it out, but... I like a little simple of some sort. There's a keychain that says Lady Whistle Down Society Papers 
London, UK, I think it says. It's something else. Um, a pin that says, Lit Your Dreams Bloom. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, enamel pen. It says, read books, be kind, stay weird. I don't know if this is a code or not, so I'm not going to show it to you in case it's a code. I don't want you guys to use it. Huh. It's like a snake. Why am I saying it's like a snake? It is a snake. Hey, cool. I get 15% off my next order. Then there's Ooh, this and that says, hello, lovely. I'm showing you guys this last. Um, let me put these back in there because I'm out of room here. Some chapstick. Mm -hmm. says beach read. I wonder if that's actually beach read from, you know, um, uh, it might be like our name. Emily Henry, Henry, Emily, Emily, Emily Henry. I always say her name. I always say it wrong. And then there's a candle that says Achilles and I always say how you forgot to say the other guy's name. Petrolus, Petrolus, something like that. Petrolus, Petrolus. I forget how you say it. Um, handmade in Oklahoma with love and care. Smells good. Just plain white, but it's pretty and it smells good. Mm-hmm. That's not good. I still have to read Song of Achilles, so maybe I'll burn this candle whenever I decide to read it. I think me and Drew are supposed to read it. And then we got this. It's a standard size satin pillowcase with eye mask. So, so sleeping on the reveal something satin pillowcase can reduce skin wrinkles and help eliminate hair loss and breakage. Cool. Yeah, my age is right. <laughs> it does. Let's say your age. <laughs> it's telling me I'm old, you guys. <laughs> but yes, so that's the box. No books, but that's okay because it's cool. Like the shirt alone was a good price. I mean, worth it. This one, like I said, I bought separately. This didn't come with the um, thingy. You know, the. Special thing. Sorry, you guys. I like. That's cute. And then, like I said, for your drink. Yeah, good. That ain't a bad box. It's a lot better than the other box that I got. So I like this one a lot more. And I think this one was cheaper. <laughs> but yeah, the shirt's cute. I definitely have to wash it though. But yep, that's that. This is going to be a long video, you guys, so if you guys have, um, if you guys want to pause here, go get you a drink or something to snack on, then do so. Because <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, like 12 or 13, maybe 14 books, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll start with the one that I got today, which is from Barnes and Noble. Ooh, I love this, it's so bright. Sometimes I like duckle edges and sometimes I don't, but this is very popular, of course. This one w um, was uh, um, independent or whatever you want to call it, but then it got picked up. So now it's not, I mean, now it's, uh, what you call it? So whatever you're going to say. But Legends of Lattes by Travis Baldir, Baldir, I'm not sure. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Here's the back. I know this is supposed to be like a cozy read. I love this right here. It says, things don't have to stay as what they started out as. That's cute. I like that quote. And there's supposed to be like some other stuff that's special about it, of course. There's a map. You guys know me with maps. And there's a map. I love maps. Prologue. Vivian buried her... Great sword in the scavalet, scavalet, scavert, how do you say it, skull, with a meaty crunch. Okay. <laughs> what is on the back? Ooh, cool. Look at this. Look at that. Cool. 
off. Then there's more, then there's like a, another chapter or something? Oh, yeah. It says, Page to Fill, Legend of the Latte Story. So there's another story, which is cool. Oh, there's another um, thing on the flap here. Coffee first. <laughs> Janae, I know you'll be watching this. You'll love that. Uh, yeah, it says it's a new bonus prequel story. So, yeah. That's what that other thing was. But this is cool. I like the, um, the, the, um, what you call it? Little coffee thingy here. What's it say? Hmm. Okay. All I know about this is that she wants to open up a coffee place, I think. Um. After a lifetime of bounties and bloodshed, Viv is hanging up her sword for the last time. The battle-weary orc aims to start fresh, opening the first ever coffee shop in the city of Thun? Thun? Tone? I'm not sure. T-H-U-N-E. But rivals own the newsstand in the way of success. Not to mention the first... I mean, the fact that no one has the faintest idea what coffee actually is. Can you imagine living in a place that no one knew what coffee is? <laughs> okay, anyways. If Viv wants to put the blade behind her and make her plans a reality, she won't be able to get go go it alone. But the true reward of the uncharted path are the travelers you meet along the way. And whether drawn together by ancient magic, a flaky pastry, or a freshly brewed cup they may become partners, family, and something deeper than she ever could have dreamed. A heart, a big heart-hearted story about the small things in life, and a loving written ode to the genre. A must-read for every D and D player who has ever wondered what happens after happily ever after. <laughs> I am excited for this. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be reading this this weekend because I thought it would be a nice fun weekend read so I'll definitely be telling you what I think about it then we gotta get all the books that are on the floor so I'm gonna have to bend for <laughs> keep bending okay so these three I'll show I'll show you this one first this one I got when I went to half price yesterday I got shipwrecked by Olivia Dade I guess they have they get I have to be on this island for a very long time, and I don't know too much else. I don't really want to know too much. It, I'll read to you what it says here. It says, a warm and... Wait a minute, let me make sure this is... That and not for... Spoiler alert. Yeah, okay, it is, okay. So it says... Um, a warm and wonderful romantic comedy about two co-stars who once had an incredible one-night stand and after years of filming on the same remote island are finally ready to yearn. I mean, yield to temptation again. So, this looks like it's going to be so fun. I know um, Bethany from Beautiful Bookish Bethany loves this series. She loves Olivia Dade. So, I have not read any of her books yet. I think I have one other one by her maybe the first one what was the first one called spoiler alert i might have i don't think i got rid of it but anyways i definitely want to read this one i got um this one at barnes and noble yesterday these two here were um buy one get one for 50 percent off so i got better than fiction by alexa martin she doesn't believe in something. Oh, she's a book hater, and he's a writer, I think. And he wants to get her to love books and to fall in love <laughs> as well. <laughs> and, yeah, that's all I really know. It says, love isn't always by the books. I mean, by the book in this charming romantic comedy about a bookseller discovering how to be the main character in her story. So she don't like books, read, but yet she has, she's like taking over a bookstore or something for some reason. I think somebody maybe gave it to her. I'm not really sure too much. Yeah, but I'm excited for this one. I got so many books. 
Then I got, um, like I said, the Forgotten, the Forgotten Five. Yeah, the Forgotten Five. The first book is, I mean, the whole series is called The Forgotten Five. The first book is titled Map of Flames by uh, Lisa McMahon. And, yeah, there. Everybody, I think all the, like, grown-ups died that were with them. And one of the one of the kids finds, like, a, a note from their dad saying to um, give this map or something to the mom. To go somewhere and give the map to the mom. And, like, the place where they go, they don't like superheroes or something. I'm not really sure. But it sounds like it's going to be fun. Then we got the Close Clusters by Katie Hayes. This one has to do with cards. Behind the closed doors of the cluster, something like that, shocking secrets and a mysterious deck of tarot cards spark a deadly power game with a, I mean, within a close knit group of researchers. I'm not going to read it all out because we'll be here a year. This is already going to be probably like a 40 minute video all these books. I love the thing. I love the little, the designs. The same thing is in the back, on the back. I'm not going to show it to you since it's the same. It definitely looks like it's going to be fun. So I'm excited for this one. Like, and I just love the cover. I have so many books here, you guys. It's let me grab this pile. Okay. I got The Company of F F Fiends. The second book in Tempting Monsters by Katrina Catherine or Katrina Moon. And this is just about, it's just a mon monster sex book. She's a human and she like, um, what you call it? This is a Why Choose. Um, I love the first book. Um, a lady at... Um, a lady at Ray Rook Grove Manor or something like that. I love that one. So I'm hoping to love this one. This one is, I think we see her in the first book, but I don't remember. And of course, she's going to be, you know, having a group of guy. I mean, group of uh, monsters that, you know, that she don't have to choose. Because <laughs> it's a why choose book. I got... The special edition, even though I have not even read this book, More Happy Than Not by Adam Severa. But I love Adam Severa, so, yeah. And this is supposed to be super sad. And it says it has a new final chapter. Uh, in, in this twisty, heartbreaking, profoundly moving New York Times bestseller debut, Adam Severa brings to life a charged, dangerous, near future, future summer in the Bronx. That's all I'm going to say. I just know it's supposed to be super sad. But, um, like I said, like I said, I know I just said it, but I'm going to say it again. I just love Adam Severa. I know he's a very, like, a lot of people don't like him. But I love his writing. I shouldn't say him, just his writing. But I love him. I love their writing. His writing. I have You're a Mean One, Matthew Prince, by Timothy Jan, Jan Vosky, 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 I'm not sure. Find a little joy to the world. Not today, Santa. <laughs> yeah, some of these I might have shown before, but I'm not sure. So I just figured I'd grab the whole pile and just show you. This is, he doesn't like Christmas, I think. But he shipped off to his to spend holidays with his grandparents. And then he meets Hector Martinez. Hmm. It sounds like it might be a hate to love. It says a charming Christmas LGBTQI plus new adult com rock rom com. Perfect for the fans of Shit's Creek, which I have never watched. I know, I know. And, of course, Red, White, and Royal Blue. Um, yeah. I have, but haven't read it yet. Never been kissed. I started it during the summer, but I haven't read it, so I'll read it next summer. 
but I'm definitely excited for this one. This is my friend Drew and Charlie. They're um, picked for December for their Queer Reads book thing that they have on Instagram. And that's our pick for the month of December. I have Kiss Her Once For Me by Allison Koch Kochrin? 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 I forget. The Charm Offensive, one of my favorite books of this year. Definitely going to be probably in my top five, top six. Not sure yet where I'm putting it, but look at this. This is about a one-night stand, I think. Yeah, so she um, has a one-night stand with this lady, and then um, the lady, I guess, disappears, and then she is supposed to fake date this one guy, and then when when she goes to meet the family, of course, it's he, or is it a guy, or, yeah, when he go, when she goes and meets the family, the um, it's the, the one that she had the one-night stand with, so I don't know if it's a sister, maybe? Not really sure. We're almost done, you guys. So maybe it won't be thir um, 50. Maybe 40 minutes. Ugh, boy. Ugh. <laughs> this stuff is heavy. Or is this the one with the one night stand? No, okay. This one's different. This one is Mistakes Were Made by Mer Meryl Wellsner. This isn't... Um, a one night stand too, though, I think. It says when Cassie Clean, or Clean, something like that, goes to an off campus bar to escape her school family weekend, she isn't looking for a hookup. It just happens. Okay, and then I think it's the, um, she has a, she sleeps with this older hot lady, and it turns out to be a friend of hers from school's mom. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun and messy and hot. <laughs> A lot of these you guys are going to be seeing next month because I'm going to be reading a lot of these. Um, I got by Kit, Kit, Kit Vincent of Feathers and Thorns. I know this is a, um, like, magic. Um, uh, yeah. It's Mel Mel, magician, of course, like I said, to the magic. Um, I'm not sure too much about this. I know my friend Clint from reads reader or re read readers i forget i always get his title the channel name like mixed up but this one there's another one maybe i didn't show the other one that he that he was talking about and i wanted i didn't show that one yet okay this one though he he was talking about and i'm super excited for this one it says packed with adventures swoony romance and of course magic this book will enhance enchant enchant Enchant, enchant you. How is that word? But it sounds like there's going to be like, like some kind of a mystery going on because the um, teacher, their teacher, I guess, goes missing and they're trying to find them too. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, these next, I don't remember if this one, if the last one I'll show you, I don't remember if Clint talked about this one, but I know he talked about these other two. We have the Foxhole Court by Nora Skokovic, Skokovic, something like that. This is a sports one, I know, and I know the one guy, his dad, he, he runs away from his dad, who's a murderous crime lord, and he goes to the sport thingy. I mean, he's into some kind of sport, and a friend from his old life comes in, and yeah. So it sounds like it's gonna get messy, messy, messy. We're almost done, you guys. Two more. <laughs> so it's probably gonna be just like 30 minutes, maybe a couple minutes past 30. Okay. It was just one night, it was just one mistake. The murder between us by Tal Burr. Bearer? 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 I'm not sure. It was just one night, it was just one mistake. FBI agent Noah Do Dowing had questions about his sexuality that a single night in Vegas should have answered. But Dawn finds him on a plane back to Iowa, back on the trail of a vicious serial killer who disappeared six years ago and has suddenly resurfaced. 
There's nothing like a murder investigation to escape an existential crisis, something like that. Um, the other one, which is Cole. Okay, so he is a, uh, Noah is an FBI agent, and Cole is an FBI profile. I mean, FBI profiler. And yeah. So it looks like he's gonna go. They got to team up with each other to solve this. So sounds like it's gonna be fun. I'm definitely gonna be reading this next month because I'm gonna be reading Christmas books, but I also need to read some, you know, some books that are not Christmas. And then we have the last one, you guys. Boy, my throat is hurting. This is a long video. Um, Lord of Eternal Night by Ben Alder Alderson. And I have a couple, I have a box coming tomorrow. And then I have a couple of books coming on Wednesday. So, that's going to be getting a lot of book stuff. Okay, it says, King of Vampires. This book was dedi dedicated as a dedicate. This book was de con dedicated. How do you say that word? As a glass of wine. Rich, light, dark chocolate, and full of bloody good fun. Just read it. <laughs> Lord of Eternal Night. <laughs> It says, Jack's life has only one meaning. Break the curse or die trying. Sounds so good. Just buy that spot, that part alone. I'm so excited. I am excited for all these books. Okay, Jack or Jack, Jake or Jack, J-A-K, Jock. I'll just say Jock. Jock's life had only one meaning. Break the curse or die trying. I already said that, I know, but I'm reading again. Morris, Maris, Morris, I'm not sure. M-A-R-I-U-S. Life had no meaning, not since he was cursed into the twisted, bloody, twisty, I mean, thirsty creature of night. For years, the witches had waited for their salvation, a way to return the magic that was sacrificed when the curse was first cast. Jock, a boy, a boy born with the power that the witches have not seen in a, in a century, is their prophesied savior the one who is to kill the creatures break the curse and restore magics to its covenant sent to the creature's castle as the final claim jock must get close enough to land the final blow is it what it is what he has trained all his life to accomplish not all is as it seemed when jock uncovers secrets and half truths the creature is not the haunting beast he had been brought up to hate. Emotions war as new feelings are uncovered. For what is more dangerous than, than hate? Dot, 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 lust. <laughs> or question mark, lust. <laughs> this looks like it'll be fun. Like, I kind of want to read this one now. <laughs> All of these I want to read now, though, I tell you. This is a... Oh, this probably came out last year. So it ain't that old. That is cool. It says, please be aware this mo this novel contains... Okay, I can better not. Because you guys... I mean, not you guys, but some people think that trigger warnings are um, spoilers. If you guys need any trigger warnings, let me know down in the comments. And I will put it in the comments. With the spoiler hat thingy. I'm excited. Um, yeah. But I'm thinking I might pick up one of these this week. It's one of these. They all sound so good. I might pick up one of the steamy ones, though. But this looks like it's going to be a steamy book. Like, look at the fire. <laughs> but, yeah. So, one of these you, you guys might, I might be reading. Besides, of course, I already told you guys I'm going to be reading Legends and Latte this weekend. But yeah, that is it. Let me know if you've read any of the ones that are, that just, you know, that's been out for a while. Or if you got any of these and, and you haven't read yet, but you're looking forward to reading. Uh, let me know what you thought about the Hello Lovely box. I thought it was a lot better, like I said, than the other one. I didn't even show you the book that I got from Hello Lovely. I got two, but one of them didn't sound intriguing at all to me. So I got rid of it. But the other one I kept, but I don't know where I put it. Oh, well, if I find it, I'll show it to you guys later in another video. Okay, until next time, you guys know the drill. 
If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you do, hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video is up for your viewing pleasure. I hope you guys have a great day, evening, whatever the case may be, when you are watching this video. And until next time, happy readings. Thanks for being awesome. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.